But first, tucked away in Chicago's Little Village neighborhood, there is a record label breathing new life into forgotten music of the past. Chicago Tonight's Evan Garcia explores the musical world of Numero Group. Music has always been a driving force for Andre Gibson. More than 40 years ago while in college, he formed the Universal Togetherness Band. During the process of our performing, we were recording. We were getting all this free recording time from Columbia College and the engineering department. In 1982, the group performed on the local variety TV show, The Chicago Party. We did this tune called Pull Up, and that's, the rest is history. We had these red satin outfits on, and, you know, with the fringes that my mom had made for us, and it was, it was, it was pretty, uh, pretty cool. After a potential deal with Mercury Records fell through, the band broke up in the mid-80s without releasing any music. That was until the Chicago record label Numero Group discovered the band while combing through the TV show's archives for a separate project. The main obstacle to them being discovered before this is that they had never put out any records whatsoever. So really there was a very small chance of Universal together in this band ever being discovered and we got lucky enough to discover them. More than 30 years after Gibson recorded the music, Numero Group released it to the world. Rob Severe and Ken Shipley started Numero Group in 2003. The archival music label specializes in releasing music from forgotten artists of the past. So we have what's known as the hits, right? You've got your Frank Sinatra's, your Earth, Wind & Fire's, your Pat Benatar's, whatever, and then there's a bunch of other stuff that's underneath there that for one reason or another didn't make it, right? So uh, for an artist like T.L. Barrett, for instance, it's like, you know, his like a Ship is, to me, probably a better record than Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace, but circumstance and timing kind of kept it down, and now it's being, you know, because of our work, it's being lifted back up to its sort of rightful place. Nobody knows Southside pastor and gospel singer T.L. Barrett recorded music in the 1970s with his youth choir that's now being sampled by Kanye West, DJ Khaled, and used in TV, film, and advertisements. Ah, he mad now. Man, man, man. It is really wonderful. No, but not just for me, but for those young people that I promise that their labor would be productive and that they would hear their songs on the radio. I didn't know it was going to take this long, but that it would be trending. And now they are telling their children and their grandchildren, that's me. I'm in the alto section. I'm in, you know, it's really beautiful. Numero Group releases music spanning several genres, from the 1950s to about 2000. Shipley says online data helps direct the label. What's so fascinating about what's happening in the digital space now is that the stats are telling us what people like. So you can look at something and be like, God, this has got a million streams. Maybe we should press that because it's, this artist has 400,000 followers and now there's an opportunity to maybe sell a lot of records. This was mine. Gibson says this musical second chance opens new doors for him. I see a, a, a resurgence of old school being meshed up with the new beats. Um, they have the technology, but they're looking for the content. And see, I, you know, I, I got a full bag of content. Where there is love filled with desire. For Chicago Tonight, this is Evan Garcia. Let it take you higher. Well, there is love. Numero Group says their standard agreement with artists is a 50-50 equal split of profits. You can visit our website to hear more music from Gibson, Barrett, and other Numero Group musicians.